Good afternoon and um, welcome to our end of day review for today. And today is Friday, November 17, 2023. And it's the last trading day of this week, right? The week of the CBI, the CBI release data on Tuesday. And it positive, the market react very positive and it's the huge move on Tuesday I think that's they say it's the biggest move since 2021 right I think so let's see spy move on November mm. 13 oh is it 13 or 14 let's see Tuesday is 14 Mm, I think I read the article on the, on the Yahoo right here, I think so. Yeah, right here, seeing 2021 right there. Yep. So basically... Yes, yeah, since 2021, so it's two years to go. So this one is it moved really big, really huge right there. If we look at the weekly candle, we can see. This is um, hourly or one hour candle. Let's take a look at the weekly to see how this movie is moving. This is a 46 week, right? Look at that. Big move, but it's not like this big, right? This is the biggest one. Ooh. Hmm. So whenever you see the auto block that's below the so-called sport level or turtle soup or for breakout level turtle soup level right there then you know it's a huge very reliable auto block and then you see a huge displacement fellow graph then you know that um, the market is in a real real rally right there or reversal here in this case so this week is not really huge. Let's see this week the a week of forty six November thirteen. Yeah, the high and low of this week is thirteen dollars. Still big. It's like almost two times of the average right there. So it's still huge. It's still big. It's still very big. Uh, forty six. So forty five, forty four. Let look at the week forty four. The week when they have a FOMC meeting and they um, decide to keep the rate and champ for now so 44 you see that the between high and low is $24 look at that the humongous 
move. Man, that give us a lot of insight that we're going to go long. Yeah, that's the very outside move right there. Look at that. The high low average only $6.83, but this move is 24. It's almost three times the average right there. Right, three times six is 24. Oh no, I mean, uh, yeah, 3 times 24. No, 3 times 6 is 18. So I'm 8 times, that's what I mean. This is 7. See, yeah, 7 is 3 times. If we roll it up to 7, so it's 3 times right there. 4 times a little bit too much, but it's 3 times. So we got an idea right there. But very interesting that it's still close below this uh, key level right here. Let's see how it gonna play out next week but this level is it touches but it never close above that it's close below so the higher of it is um is uh 451 42 right and the level right here is 38 i mean 36 big level 36 right uh, it is 36 but the 42 it is it did take it did take the buy side but it not close below that all right go back to our favorite time stamp our time frame that we trade so earlier when we see this signal right we thought it gonna break you remember we go try to go in right here at 1007 then look at the tree we okay before we go uh, any further we need to um you know try to see how it opened and how it closed so it opened at 450.24 which is three cent above yesterday close at 450.21 okay and it's close at 450.78 so 78 minus 24 uh you have 54 so it's 54 cent right there Right, it close above fifty four cent of the open price. Yep, fifty four. Beautifully. Okay, go back at the trade earlier. We we practice this trade, right? This week we learn a lot. We do a lot of practice trade, and we do one drill trade yesterday and Thursday and um we lost we learn right we make mistakes we learn but we learn a huge um uh, lesson from our mm, you know our loss our uh, uh, mistake uh, we need to embrace we need to welcome our mistake and we take it a part process so we don't take uh you know a personal uh, emotion uh, on our loss Just remember, every loss, every failure we make, it is a one step closer to our success and victory. That is to be our mindset, our approach right there. So when we see right here, right, right here, right, we imagine that gonna be uh, a major move right there. Right, we see that down move, right? But now we look back, we learn a new knowledge now. So whenever we see this down move, we have to mark the low of that down move or the first leg right there. Okay? And that is the sell seller way. That is the turtle shoot level or you say breakout level right there. And also we mark the level where the first the, the, the leg is, is start is at this right here it's also a breakout level so in this case it break out to the downside in other words it's called breakdown right there and it did break down successfully so it's a real breakdown or breakout right there in this scenario it's a full breakout you see it's a full breakout you know, everyone thought it's gonna break, 
out, but it did not. It in, immediately, you know, go back up right there, and you see how beautiful it's set up. You, know, you mark the low of it, and you see the very big red candle, and you see the very big red candle follow up with heart that I'll give you on a breakdown. If you watch it in real time, it's hard breakout. But actually, it turned ring, turned in, turned to up glow right there. Then that's when you put in a sell stop right there or a sell limit order right there. It will carry you up to the upside right there. So at this level, we can play, um, you know, uh, either way, right? We short them. And we put a, let's say if we want to trade a pure breakout, then what will be our mm, stop loss? It's very tricky to play pure breakout. Because you don't know where is the stop loss. If you play it too much, right? Stop loss up here, put on the last swing high. Uh, that's a lot right there. However, if we play in terms of the four breakout, we know the bottom right here, right? We just put stop up around there, or five cents below there. And the stop up very, very narrow. That means very low risk with the wall ratio right there. So that's the reason why four breakout is statistically is favor, they say 60% or maybe more. It only be a four break out right there. In the same scenario we had yesterday, right? Mm. We thought it gonna be a break out, but it's not a four break out. So I did. We did call the thinker, uh, you know, thinker swim, thinker swim sport, and they say that they we can do the COC order. Basically, we put in a sell order, right? Um, it's not exactly what we want, but the sell order. As soon as it hit our stop loss for the shoulder, we can condition that for the entry long. I said, you're not gonna do both sell and and um, both short and long at the same price level. They not do that. So and um, that's that's the the limitation that we had to deal with. But anyway, let's look at the trade uh, we see today. The practice trade we see today. So we see this trend, uh, this is what call trend follower. And we don't know the expectancy or the reliable of, of this, um, this trade, right? That's, that's why we experiment, right? We want to see. So basically, we saw the sell sell reward drop. It did. It eventually go down and, and take that's um that's sell sell really. You see, it took it. It took that you see it dropped right here, it still dropped right there, right? At ten fifteen it still dropped. But at eleven oh five it took all the sell sell that it, it built. As soon as it took it rated that sell sell it go up. It, it not breaking uh, down at all. It's not a real breakout. That will allow it to go in and do the third sub of four breakout setup beautifully. But anyway, so our, our you know idea, the toy idea that we saw. Okay, the first leg down is sharp and fast. So sometimes um, we don't lesson right. Um, this is can be a fool for whoever want to short right. I thought oh. We go in short. It does exactly what we did right. We short them. So we thought that gonna be take a south side extremely, you know, uh, trap retracement. So we enter on the retracement, and every time is ten oh eight, and stop loss is fifty twenty nine, and we got hit, you know, at ten eighteen, which is ten minutes into our trade. So when we go in this trade. 10, 8 right here we simply put our stop lot 5 cent above um, the open open price right um, so the magic move did not happen 
and, and we, we got to stop out and look at this. And then when we saw a huge down move with it, we thought it going to be a real breakout. It's going to make the manager, manager move right there. But it did not, neither. So how do we take capture of the move? So... Yeah, how do we do that? So we put in a sell order, short order, because we thinking or we thought they're gonna be pre breakout, right? Then this is the level we're gonna short them when it um, put right here, right? When it come down, if right here we short, then what is our level? Of, of stop loss. Uh, like we say earlier, we put right here, it's gonna be a huge stop loss. Yeah. So we do the, the full breakdown with the low risk right there. It's much easier for now. But if we look over here, I mean, let's go back here, it's a real breakdown. So how do we know when we trade the real breakout, in this case break to the outside, and how should we trade is a um, a full breakout. Well, we can see right here is a real breakout because what? Because it's create. You see the double top right here, a little bit right there, and you have a sell side. So it take out a sell side. If we reason the same, then we can also say okay, set up. Hmm. But we also see the huge federal gap right there. Do we see it here? The few, you know, federal gap. We have federal gap above that level, not below. See that? But here we have a federal gap below. Federal gap below. below. We don't have any federal gap below or up. So that can be a, a reason right there first, right? If a real breakout, then we see the fabric up below that. So we know shorter. But in this case, there's no fabric up below that level. It only has fabric up above that. That means it's, um, it's a, a, a false breakout. Yeah, let, let's do the note right here. Document right here so we can, we can see. We can understand. So right here is a real breakout. To the downside, okay. So we make a little bit comment right there so it's easy to understand. Real breakout. So it's gonna be a short setup, okay. And So we see the displacement. Plus the fair gather gap below the entry level. Thus, in this case, it's going to be um, 451, 3, no, 05. But right here, it's a full breakout. 
Right here is a force break out, which is a total supply there. A long setup, right? What do we see? Do we see any displacement? Mm. Displacement is above. Yeah, it's really above. Hmm. You will see a displacement breakdown. Yeah. How about look at the five minute time candle? Hmm. Huge displacement, but above the level. How about this? It's above. One of the above, one of below. So how do we? solidifying conditions that we can distinguish or dif differentiate two scenarios over right here um, let's see so what else we put right here we I mean right now let's go with the fair value gap right do we have fair value gap there's no fair value gap I mean, fellow gap above that level, but no fellow gap below. No fellow gap below the entry level. Let's go with this right now. And the entry level is 4, 49, 46. See that? Yep. So that's half us, you know, it's beautiful in, in just one day. Um, I mean, in one picture or one um, one trading uh, day, we have both set up for us the real breakout and the fall breakout. You see that? It worked beautifully. When first we see, saw this sharp down move, so that is just a manipulation move right there to uh, trap all the people who short them. You see, it trapped all the buy side right here. And as soon as it raped the sell side, gonna go and take off them out. It's beautiful right there. So how do we handle this in future? How do we... How do we, um, no, we can't, I don't know, we have to take, you know, a low risk like this, because we can, I mean, the market is move, uh, every time is differently, right, you're not gonna make a, a prediction every time, and that is one of the, the things we have to balance. Right, at the trader, we really want to know, we really want to predict where market heading to so we can, uh, we can trade, right? We want, we want, we, we want some kind of certainty, right? Uh, but at the same time, market not going to be the same, right? Different, every day is different. The variation is there. Yeah, so we have to pick a very low risk and take it and accept whatever the markets, you know, give to it. Yep, but anyway, let's go with this for now. So we have an idea of the four breaks out 
and the view break out right there. For break out versus view break out. And also we see that the reason why this is going to be a, a real breakout uh, because we compare with the London low here in London right uh, yeah we can see that you know right here the huge South Sargiva trap so definitely it's going to be a a a real breakout you take the South Sargiva right there at this location you see yep and when it go down to this level we can back right there let's say we short them but as soon that the short stop out uh, we can jump in go long the same scenario we do with yesterday right there because this is the key level it's gonna make the move it does go down the oil goes to go up and we want to capture that so in right here we can do both we short them and if we got stop out we are allowed to go in and go long the reason why we cannot go long yesterday uh, because right now we only have the rule for it that just one trace a week and we follow our rule maybe next year we uh, we um we, we modify that rule that allow us to take two tray okay basically we, we are allowed to re-entry for for this scenario we are allowed to re-entry um yeah i think that that will help us right, right there but for the purpose of practice principle i mean practice uh discipline we just follow our symmetry rule right now until at the end of this year and next year we can uh, modify the rule right there um, because once we start out, we want to be so-called disciplined, right? Which is follow our rule. That's the first and foremost, uh, you know, uh, the oath that we have to take that we follow our rule. Whatever the rule we, we, we have, we have to follow. And if the rule is not working, then we can go back and improve our rules but we need to follow our rules so that's that the idea right now so we follow our rules so far and for the trade setup we still kind of all over the place right now because we're still working on it try to see we try different uh, setup different toy idea right now so we can learn and then eventually we can solidify and we can uh, put more rule on you know uh, what do we see before we enter the trade so um, but right now we just but so far I think the last two three weeks we make a huge improvement on identify the level the critical level so we know that we either gonna go short and go long uh, we should capture the move either way anyway so we see that the real breakout and four breakouts and let's look at the trade that we uh, we identify right here is a four breakout which is you know one of the comparison, uh, comparison we saw earlier so we can capitalize on that, that move right there so basically here we have identified the level so we put in a sell stop right there as soon as it can come down the candle gonna come down it catch up right there so we either enter at 08 or 07 or 06 either way no I think 07 or 08 better because 06 we don't know what is the bottom right but after 06, 11, 06, we know the bottom. So we got our stop lot right below that, or you know, bottom right there. Exactly that uh, tight, you put a top lot tight at exactly the bottom or five cents below there. And then uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna identify the target, right? Target gonna be uh, the total sub level right there that we identify either earlier when it, the real breakout happened then uh, we will have a risk reward ratio that bigger than one two three basically in this case we have uh, 
we reach 17 cents and we are anticipate to gain one dollar sixty it's about one to six six we will raise all right there right and um if we empty right here at 08 it's gonna be a sell i'm sorry i think we we make uh big type right here it should be a sell uh i, I mean it should be a, a I buy order right there, not I sell. We could go long, you, you buy it. We big type right there. <laughs> Excuse me. So the entry either 06 or if it 06, um, then uh, it's gonna be a stop order. But the 08, I'm gonna be a limit order because it's above, um, I mean, it's below, right? And exit time for us right here about 1341 when it hit our target right there. And the risk reach reach ratio is one to six. Yeah, one to eight actually. Really? Yeah. Eight. Or oh, maybe nine. Yeah. Nine, not eight. Yeah. It's nine. Right, I think nine on city we call seventeen, not even twenty yet. So nice something, yeah, nine point four. Wow, that's a huge move right there. What a beautiful move right there. Yeah, I think our time is up, so I will try to wrap up right here. One thing we want to see that wow. So basically, we have two beautiful trade right here. If we trade in pre market, the short. And then right here is going to be long for it right there. So from now on or from now from now forward, we will try to identify the breakout level. So we can trade either way. We want to capture a big move, right? Either direction. That will be our focus on building, development, conceptualize our trading system. And, and, and the part of the trading system, the setup that we identify is just a, a part of the trading system of our, the trading system is uh, not only including the trade idea or trade setup, but include a lot of things in there, you know. So this is the very, you know, key part that we are trying to conceptualize and develop and collect the data to be with. Okay, let's look at the volume to see how big the volume for today for Friday? Oh, 81. That's huge for the Friday. Especially before Thanksgiving week. Maybe all the big fund manager they want to buy big before they go for vacation. Because they say that from November to May, um, the stock market tend to go up because all the fund, um, all the mutual fund, they get the money uh, from the retirement fund and um, the requirement for mutual fund that they have, they have to invest 100%. That means they go, that, go out and buy all the stock right there. And that's the reason you see that a lot of fall break already happened. We thought it's going to come down, but it's not. I think a big mutual fund come down, I mean, come out and buy all. All right, I think that's it for now. We have a uh, you know amazing week this week with the C buy and release. Well on a ton. We're really thankful for the opportunity. We're grateful for this um, you know journey. Thank you, you all, and have a wonderful weekend. And have a fresh start for next week. Recharge ourselves and continue our journey. Bye for now.